hey, hey. It's Sunday night, the end of another week. Time to come in and focus our energy, align with the cosmos and look at what's going on. It's a new moon, yay. Come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here, Natural Forces Studio and the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. I'm on Instagram as well tonight, Facebook Live as well. Hello, Leanne. Come on in and join me. Let's talk about the cosmos. Let's talk about this new moon energy as well. Say hello, let me know you're here, and open up to this energy with me. So if you're able to, share the energy for me, share this out into the world. I had a little laptop crash this week, so I am kind of winging it as I go here, trying to put my system back together. Isn't that crazy when that happens? Never a good time. So yes, that's some of that crazy energy that we're letting go of. So come on in and join us. We're gonna be talking about what's going on in the cosmos. We're gonna be talking about all the energy around as well and how you can best focus your energy. I happen to love the new moon. I get a little bit intense under the full moon, but the new moon is really feeling good to me. How about you guys? Let me know if you like the new moon as well and how you feel about it. I know for myself, new moons always make me feel really inspired. Just trying to share this out. Come on over into the Empowered Spirit Circle as well. If you're not part of it, I would love to invite you in. Talk about lots of things. We continue the conversation going as we move through the week. All right, I've shared it into the group. Let me just share it to the timeline. Always so many things to do. Here we go. All right. There we go. I think I've shared it. If you would like to, just hit the share button and that would make it really easy as well. So how is everybody doing? What is your favorite? Let me know. Post below. The full moon or the new moon? Do you even notice the difference? I'd love to hear what you have to say about it as well. I know for me, like I said, the new moon is always my favorite time. I always feel like, ah, even though we don't see it outside, right? It's like, yes, time to start that new path. Time to awaken to what it is that we want to recreate in our life. And I love that aspect so much. I really do. Now, this full moon, uh, new moon, sorry, this new moon is in Virgo. All right, and that is really kind of helping us to pull our energy in. Virgo is about being that wholesomeness. It's about that love, that being of service. There's also a lot of organization and being really kind of determined in our path. So as we've come out of summer, right, we're here at the late of summer, I should say, as we've come out of all of that eclipse energy and retrograde energy, we're still moving through a lot of that energy, but it's now we're seeing that the planets are starting to go direct. We've got Mars moving through. We still have a little bit more time to kind of really help it get going. We also had Saturn go direct, which is really good too, because instead of feeling like so much burden and responsibility, we can actually turn that energy around and use it for organization, using it for doing to-do lists, for really being determined in the path that we're on. So this energy is moving out. We still have a little bit of time to catch up with it. So you may still feel like you're caught in some of those heaviness, that struggle energy going on, but know that it is moving through. <clears throat> we also have a lot more planets coming into being more in the earth elements. So that is going to help us ground as we move forward through this new moon energy. So those are the things that we're looking at right now as we come into it. We're also in that late summer, all right? In Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine as well, they actually create a whole season around this. They also treat it as its own season, which I find really good. I know I've struggled with sometimes like, I don't want to let go of the summer. I love being outside, but yet I love the fall. So I go kind of back and forth with do I like it or do I not? But when we really kind of acknowledge it as its own time frame and its own season, I find it's very helpful. Because what happens is we start to pull our energy in slowly because by the time we get to the fall, we really are pulling it in and even the winter even more so. So this is kind of the opportunity to really start transitioning, to start to pull the energy in. And this new moon in Virgo is actually helping us to do that as well. Maybe you notice that for yourself. You kind of struggle. You want to be outside, but you love the fall and you want to be inside. So it's kind of that back and forth. But as we open up to that transition time, we'll find that we're able to really kind of realign with where we are right now. Now, as we come into this new moon in Virgo, we're going to notice at the beginning of the week, tomorrow's very productive. You're going to be able to get stuff done. Tuesday's the same thing. Kind of the middle of the week, we're going to have a little bit of conflict, a little bit of struggle, more towards Thursday and Friday. 
you're not going to feel as productive. So be sure to get your work done on Monday and Tuesday, even into Wednesday. Again, Thursday and Friday is going to be a little bit. I think Friday, most of the day, we're kind of void of course, meaning not a good time to start things, not a good time to try to push forward. You can be creative. You can do a lot of planning or thinking, but in the actual physical plane, we're not going to be able to get as much done. But then by the weekend, it does move out. So if you can, just plan your week that way as you start the week out. Really be productive. Do your to-do list. Put out those intentions. Actually, tonight is the great time. Write those intentions out. I know Jan Spiller teaches like 10, 10 wishes, 10 new intentions you can actually write down. So take that time, maybe when we get off of here, to write down what are those intentions for you as you move from the season of summer through this transition of late summer into the fall. What new intentions can you set? Now, we know fall is all about the harvest, the gratitude, and even to honoring the struggles, which is kind of the energy I've been talking about today. And all my yike, my hike, and my yoga practice today, I was talking about that we really do want to acknowledge our struggles. And the fall season will help us to do that. So where is it you are struggling? What are the stories that are going on for you? And I was even talking about like time to kind of put the in, <laughs> close the book on some of those stories that you're carrying around. So if you can notice as you move through this new moon energy, let the stories go. Set a new intention. Write a new story, all right? Think about it. What can you set out there for you? Because right now as we carry this stuff through, we don't want to bring all this old energy into the fall. We really don't. All right, we can. We can circle it in the mind over and over and over. But really, it's like, you know, the vibration of today is a good day. Today is a good day to begin a new practice, to begin a new path. And that's what the fall energy is. And that's what this new moon will help us with. It's a really beautiful time to do it. So even though we don't see the moon out there, we can actually open up to those new intentions for where we want to see our path follow through. It has been a rough year for many people, all right, myself included. I admit the summer has been very challenging, but I do know that working through the energy, Honoring those shadows, honoring those struggles is the way to do it. Don't step them down. That'll create physical ailments, but let them surface. Let them open up so that you can grow, you can evolve. Remember, we are just spiritual beings in physical bodies, right? And we're all here to learn and evolve. So don't let yourself be bogged down if you do have some stress, if you do have some struggles. Maybe you've made a few mistakes. Maybe it wasn't exactly what you set out to do. I definitely know those feelings. But we can't let us like really define who we are. So the energy coming in for this new moon in Virgo, it's a really awesome time to honor that part of who we are. Check out the power path. I love the way they put that whole thing into perspective. I love the way they do it. I don't really have it in front of me to read from it, but check it out. It's on Facebook or you can Google the power path. But I loved how they talked about come into that divine feminine energy that the Virgo moon is offering. Come into the wholesomeness of who you are and be really real. Be really real. What are you telling yourself? What is real and what is not? As we open up to that and take the judgment out, we can feel that wholesomeness of who we are. And that's what this week is about. That's what the setting the intentions is about for you. Maybe you don't like exactly where you are. All right? So do something about it. You can shift. You don't have to hold on to all those old stories. That's one of the things I love so much about the new moon energy. We can shift and we can change the path that we're on. Also in the Virgo moon, we also have the opportunity to kind of look at our health, look at our physical health. Where's your diet, all right? Now in our late summer energy, I was talking about this in the restorative class I'm teaching right now, we start to clean up our diets a little bit. We look at the energy and the organs of the stomach and the spleen, and those are the areas we want to clean up. So our stomach is our digestion, trying to start switching up the diet. What is in season now? What can we let go of? All right, it's also the spleen is the blood. So really, as we move through, we want to kind of start to really cleanse out the body. It's also a good time to do a little cleanse. You don't have to be major, but maybe one day just eat lighter or do a juice cleanse, something like that to help the body on its own. It's a great time to also do a lot of scrubbing of the body, remove that excess layer of the skin, right? Also, too, Ayurvedic teaches us to do a little hot oil, you know, or oil on the body, then get in the shower. That's going to help it move through. Salt baths, too. 
too. So this is the moon energy right now, which is actually asking us to clean up our diets, look at our body, check in with ourselves, check in with our stories of what we're telling ourselves, and be really true and wholesome to who we are. And this is going to help you move into that fall season, a couple of weeks, not too far away, with really feeling that refreshing energy so that you can move into this last quarter, move into this last season. Well, I guess we got the winter too, but move into this time with a more refreshed energy of what you are doing, what your spirit is talking to you about, what your physical path, your work, your purpose is all about for you. That's where we are right now. So again, as you start out your week, very productive Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to start to feel a little bit of that angst and you may not be able to get as much done as you want. So be sure to prepare, to prepare and plan your week to start out that way. And then into the weekend, we'll be finding that we're moving out of some of that. I think it's the void of course energy and it's just like, ugh. So be sure to really, again, set your intentions tonight, do your to-do list. That's how we're going to move into this week as we go forward. So tonight, I'd like to do the meditation to help us center our energy and really drop into the heart. When we can drop into the heart and put our intentions out from our heart, it really is helping us to magnify and manifest that energy. All right, so wherever you are, if you can, just close your eyes. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale away. Letting go of the week, letting go. And exhale, sending that breath all the way down, deep into the earth. Inhale, bringing that breath up through the body, up through the crown. And exhale back down. Offering gratitude for where you are right now. Continue the breath up the body. And exhale, send the breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Inhaling. And exhale, heart. And as you take your next breath, open from the heart. Feel the breath going out in front. And as you exhale, inhaling and exhaling. Calling in your masters, your teachers, the archangels. Call in your higher self. Align the spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Being very present in this late summer energy. Asking your higher self to guide you and to protect you as you move through this week. And just coming right here into the heart. And if you want, tapping right here. And just take a moment and acknowledge to yourself you're not your story. You can let your story go. You can let the struggles go. You can let the worry, the fear, let it go. And just continue to tap for a moment, helping the energy start to flow through the body. And just acknowledging to yourself, I choose to let this fear go. I choose to let these stories go. I choose to open up to my path, being wholesome, being alive, coming from my heart. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, send the breath down deep into the earth, centering your energy. And then just allow yourself to open up. Feel that little shift in energy. That's one of the tapping points. Bring the awareness back. You can find out more for tapping. If you would like, let me know. I can send you more information on tapping. It helps to move our energy. It helps to center us in our heart to be more alive, to be more present as we open up to this new moon energy. Bring in the awareness back. Take a deep inhale. And exhale. All right, so let's look to the cards, back to the wild unknown. I love starting the wild unknown with that new moon energy. So the universal card for all of us is this card here, the Eight of Swords. Very interesting card, all right, which is kind of in alignment where we're talking about our story. This is a card of feeling like we're, see, we're in this cocoon. We're hanging from that one sword. We have all these other swords around, almost feeling like we're trapped, almost feeling like, oh, my God, I'm never going to open up to that path of who I am, Right? But notice that it is the swords, and the swords is all about the mental plane. So what are you telling yourself that's keeping you feeling trapped and stuck? What is that energy for you? And that's what you're going to look at as we move through this week. Because really, letting go of that stress and struggle of the mind is very key 
to moving through this late summer energy. So that's the universal card for all of us. So as we look through how we could do this even greater, choosing that one, two, or three, if you chose one, five of pentacles, all right, a very interesting card as well, because it is talking about some of those struggles, all right, some of those things that we go through. Normally when we see the roses, right, we don't normally see them turned over. It's almost like the rose is crying in the darkness, right? But if you see, like, opening up to there is light. I was talking about this on the yike today, on my hike. It was talking about, you know, again, honoring, honoring those struggles, honoring the part of us that feels like we are the victim. We don't necessarily have to be the victim, but we can open up that darkness, open up the shadow part of who we are for the growth, for the light, and that is exactly how you will find yourself moving forward, all right? So lots of times when we see that five of pentacles, it is about some of that material aspects, feeling like we're always, always in the lack energy, always trying so hard. How many people feel that? All right, but this is about coming into the light, doing a little healing, all right? So this is some of that Virgo energy. Do the scrubbing, do the baths, do the rituals, take care of yourself and the physical plane so that you can open up and as you do, guess what? You'll come out of the cocoon refreshed and transformed. That's that transformation energy. All right, so if you chose card number two, this is the Mother of Cups. All right, a very interesting card. I love it. Look how she opens her wing. Cups is all about that emotional energy, the intuitive energy. The Mother of Cups is really talking about that innate ability that we all have to we really honor this right now. It is some of that empath energy. So being strong in our energy, late summer, the, the, the third chakra, the money poor chakra, being strong in that intuitive energy, that empath energy, empathy, sympathy, compassion. We were talking about that in the restorative class the other night. And this is about really aligning with that energy of being intuitive, of being sensitive, but being healthy with it. That's what this is about. And when you're intuitive, then you can drop out of the mind, drop into the heart, which is what cups are about, and then that's going to help you open up without judgment to release the struggles, to release that feeling of being trapped into your life. And if you chose card number three, this is a two of swords, all right? Another card that's in the mental plane, and this has a little bit of that indecisive energy, all right? There's something blocking you. It's almost like a stalemate, very similar in many ways to this card as well. All right, it's kind of like you have one idea, you have another idea, and you can't figure out which way to go, so you just stay stuck. And it's like the sun and the moon together. All right, it's like, where are you? All right, sometimes we have to find clarity in order to make that next choice. But again, this is a card, when it shows up, it's all about get out of the mind. Again, we drop into the heart. Do some meditation. Do some journaling. Make your list. Good, bad, yes, no, that kind of thing to help you make those decisions that are coming forward at this time. You don't have to be stuck, especially when it's in the mental plane because, again, it's just like churning those thoughts over and over. So as you drop into your meditation, as you journal, I love to journal when I don't know what to do. I think the writing really helps me. And the tapping. Tapping is really good for that, too. If you need some help tapping, let me know. Because as you're able to move out of this energy, you're going to open up to that transformation energy that is out there for you. So these cards are really in alignment with what we've been talking about. There is some healing energy that needs to come forward as we move through this Virgo energy, taking care of the self, taking care of the spirit, taking care of the mind, and opening up so that you can transform as we move into the fall season. All right, and that's exactly where we are right now. So do some healing for yourself. Work on being more loving. Drop the story. Write a big V in. Close the book. Put it away. We don't have to carry it around. All right, we don't. Today is a good day to open up. The new moon is a good time to open up to that new vibration. Again, it's my favorite part of the cycle. It's a new start, right? So we finish one and we start again. That's exactly where we are. So definitely don't forget to write out those new intentions. Write them out with, I intend, I wish, I want. Those are the ways that we put it into the positive affirmation of what it is we're looking for under this beautiful, beautiful new moon. All right, let me know if you have any questions going on and it is really important that we use our spiritual tools to help us move through this energy all right let me know. 
know if you have any questions about what it is. Still taking a little hiatus, hiatus from my Empowered Spirit show. I will be back very soon. Thank you all so much. I had some great responses from the survey for the show. So I'm really excited. I'm creating a new series. It will be dropping as the fall opens up. Very excited to be forward, to go forward with that. But if you didn't get to the summer series, now's a great time talking about all of that CBD oils and how great the hemp is for us. Lots of controversy, lots of controversy here in Alabama, but it is amazing. It has been very helpful in my life, healing from the skin cancer and all the many things that we do. All right. All right, Anna Edith Martinez, your birthday is Sunday, 916. All right, next week. So we will give you a card as you move in to close out your year. And then next week, come back, we'll give you one for your birthday. And hey, Mary, I will, whoops, I dropped two. I have to see what those are. I will draw for you next. All right, here we go. When they fall, we must look at them. All right, so here we go. This is for, this is for Anna. Anna, this cards. All right, so this has that spiritual aspect too but there is a little secrecy going on so where can you open up to a deeper part of what it is see how he's sitting on that sword and all of the other ones are above so sometimes when we have this card come and find out what is that secret energy that's been kind of underneath the surface that needs to come forward so as you go to close your year all right you want to look and ask yourself where is that energy coming forward from me what have i not really kind of looked at Bring it to the surface so that it can have light, have love, and release out so you don't feel like you're carrying something around in this new year that's coming up for you. All right, hope that's helpful. Happy birthday. All right, May Meredith, this card is for you. It is the Seven of Cups. All right, Seven of Cups is about love, all right? So as we write down... So lots of times when this card comes up, it reminds us to really get in there instead of always searching on the outside, come into loving ourselves, which is perfect energy for the new moon. This is the opportunity, all right? Take care of yourself. Take a long bath. Do some body maintenance, right? Do some things. Check your diet. Check your exercise. And then as you do that loving of the self, that is what is going to actually help to attract love in your life in all aspects, all right? And this new moon is really good for bringing in the heart. So this is a great time for you to really open up to loving yourself better. And as you do, that vibration coming right out of the heart is what helps us to attract the love that we desire in our lives in all aspects, all right? A beautiful card. I love when the lights are also about, it's a seven, I'm sorry. Sevens is also about that spiritual energy. So that deep self-love for who we are. All right, so let me know if that resonates with you. All right, a light love regarding a card to move career. All right, I love this card. All right, it shows a little bat, different perspective. It's also about patience. All right, so it's also about having the patience to look at things from a different perspective, not to push really hard and fast into it. Yes, it will come for you, but change your perspective on how you're looking at it. Think outside the box, all right? Hang upside down. I always like to say, go do a headstand. All right, put the feet up the wall and have patience with yourself and look at it from a different perspective as you go to looking at a career move for yourself. Hope that helps. It always is helpful to feel that energy coming forward in a slight box, all right? All right, Linnell, your birthday's coming up too. All right, Leanne's too. All right, so Leanne, this card is for you. This is the hair fund. All right, so when the hair fund shows up, this is really about owning your own power and not giving to that crow right look at the lightning too really important that you listen to your self don't give your power out don't push it out there all right be sure to look at it. and as your birthday comes around leanne really honor that part of who you are all right actually move into this new year for you all right let's look at it that way really not give your power away but open up to what it is that everything is telling you all right linnell for your birthday happy birthday dear all right, that was the one I drew before. All right, this is the Four of Cups. All right, this, right, it's about feeling really balanced and really in line with who we are. Now, the mouse sits on top of that, so it's really kind of like, you know, no need to feel that you're, you're, you know, mousy about the way you go about things, to really own up and feel balanced and all of that love that surrounds you at this time. All right, it's sitting here in the darkness, but look at the light of the moon coming up. So, 
think the cards also remind us of that intuitive part of who we are as well and opening up to that light and allowing the moon to guide you through. I know you know this and I know you do this, but love is around you, which is exactly that new moon energy as well. I love Thelma. Lots of Virgos. Yes, we have lots of Virgos in here. All right, Thelma, a card for you. Did I draw one for you? Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Definitely put some energy out there for you that's in the physical plane. That could be the money just in the physical realm. And that's a great energy for where we are right now. So definitely put your new intentions out there. Yes, like Haha, <laughs> awesome. All right, definitely got a perfect there. All right, Mary, a card for you. We got a lot of fours. We got the four swords again. All right, so this is really getting out of that mental plane and dropping into the intuitive part. Don't let those swords fall on you. So make sure you come into a meditation. Make sure that you open the hard energy. Drop out of that mental plane. You don't want them falling on you, right? Open up that third eye. Lose the chatter. Lose the chatter. Definitely. Meditation. All right. Love this session. Touched on everything. Excellent. Yay. Thanks. All right. Patrick. How are you, Patrick? How was that restorative class for you? Patrick, son of son of passionate card. This is a card of bringing forward into the realm. Transformation. That snake is always transformation. But look how it comes from the dark and opens into the light. So bring that passion forward for you, my friend, as you open up into this new moon energy. Beautiful card for you. I know that you know this. You have that passion within. Bring it. I gotta thank you. How does that resonate with you, Patrick? Very good. All right, anybody else? Let's see if I've missed anybody. If I missed you, just go ahead. Okay, Brooke, yay. How are you, Brooke? How are you healing? All right, Brooke, daughter of swords. All right, so this is really about noticing the details in your life, but not get too picky. We don't want to get too picky, and sometimes we can have it, but it's important to honor those details. All right, the owl is wise. So use that wiseness of who you are to understand more, and this is also Virgo energy as well. Virgo energy can help us to get a little bit more organized. So that is really what this is talking to you. But the wisdom, and look at all these things around, picking out the important details. But again, when this card shows up, you don't want to be too picky. All right, the daughter energy doesn't, isn't as picky as the like the mother energy because you still can be in that, that innocence of who you are. So find that ability to do that and find the parts of your life that go really well for you. All right, take a nice deep inhale, everybody. Perhaps some of these cards resonate. Lots of four energy, which means we will open up to some change as we move through this next moon cycle. So don't forget, as you go through your week, Monday, Tuesday, be organized, get your work done. Wednesday, even by Thursday, Friday, you as done as you'd like. And then into the weekend, you'll find you pick that back up. Set your intentions, take care of yourself. Come into the wholeness of who you are right now with this beautiful new moon energy. Honor your path. Good, bad, or indifferent. This is how we grow. Release the judgment as you drop into the heart and open out from there. All right, everybody, take a nice deep inhale. Feel your energy pulling in so you can start your week out focused and in alignment with this new moon in Virgo. All right, if you're in the local area in Birmingham, come on over and join me. We still have a few spaces left in the restorative class. We're working through this late summer. Come join us this Wednesday, 6.30. And 5.30 is the Reiki Circle. We're going to be talking a little bit about how this new moon energy, how all the cycles of the moon can align with the energy of Reiki. Thursday, I'm at Forma downtown and at lunch. So come join me. Definitely reach out. Come join out if you need some help creating your spiritual path. I put the link in there. You can get a free guide on my website, terryannhyman.com. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I always love to offer this energy. Don't forget, let your story go. Start into the new moon energy. Be on your path. Love and light. A highest vibration to your spirit. Namaste.